Hey guys, in this example, you will learn how do you create a conditional drop down. For example, if I select India here, in the below drop down, it shows me the states of India. For example, Odisha and Karnataka. If I select US in the parent drop down, in the child drop down, it shows me the states of US, right? Texas and Florida. So, how can you make conditional drop downs or dependent drop downs in action center using the create form task we are going to learn so let's get started so let me close this particular pending item and we will start from the very beginning so first of all what i need is i need country a variable which is going to store the country names and for each country, for, for India, the couple of states and for US, couple of states. Okay, this is our data. What we need to create a variable and store them. So, first of all, let's start. Let's drag and drop a sequence within which we are going to design the entire form. So, uh, the first thing, let's create a country list. Okay, I'm creating a variable country list and let this variable uh, be a list kind of a data. So you can browse for types, select list and string. Okay, so list of string, select the variable type and let's enter a few countries. So let's initialize this new list of string and I will say from in curly braces, I will say India comma and then I will say US okay India US both the country names I have written in the country list similar way I'll create another variable called state list and this variable will have two things okay so I'll be creating a dictionary for this so let's go and select type dictionary scroll down and this is the one so the dictionary i am going to select the first value which will have the country let's say india and the second value will be list of strings okay so here i will type list and i will scroll down there you go okay and then here i am going to select string so what i am doing i have created a dictionary the first one will have let's say india the second one will have a list let's say all the state names let's say odisha karnataka maharashtra whatever the states you would like to keep this will be a list the first one the key value is a string and the values are is a list okay list of data list of uh, different states fine so this i've created in the form of dictionary remember this so this is the trick so the first one is a simple list which is containing india and us and the second one is a dictionary so let's initiate the dictionary. I will say new dictionary of the first value, which is a string, and the second value, which is a list. So I will say list of string. Clear how I have written? All right. So that way I have declared it. Now I have declared it, but I need to enter details into this state list, right? So for that, I will use something called add to dictionary. Add to dictionary is an activity which you may not find. For that, go to project and check if you have got Microsoft.activities.extensions. In case you have not already installed this package, go to manage packages and install the specific one. Microsoft type Microsoft.activities.extension and install it. The moment you install it, you will find add to dictionary activity. So let's drag and drop this activity. The moment you drag and drop it is asking the first value is a string and the second value is a list of string right so i will select list okay and click on okay so once you do this the first thing it is asking what is the dictionary name the dictionary name just now we have created state list will enter that the key name will be i'll enter india and then the values so to enter the values i will say new list of string and then i will get those values from 
what are those states let's say i'm entering two states for the example odisha and then i'm going to enter another state karnataka okay i have entered so for india there are two states i have entered odisha and karnataka similar way we'll design it for us i'll copy and paste this and then i will replace india and then i'm going to paste us and similar way the states i'm going to replace let's say texas is one of the state in us and the other state let's say florida okay so the, again two for two for india two for us i have entered just for this example so once you do this next thing we need is a create form task so let's drag and drop this create form task and now in the create form task it is asking us to give it a title so i will say um, select um, country and state okay i've given any title and then the next very important data so we don't have to work on task catalog for this example so let's start straight away go to form data click on the form data see he, here how i am going to write is very very important because that is where your drop down list will get created okay so you'll be using couple of keywords and those keywords are recognized by this particular task create form task so you should use those drop downs so first thing we need to show show uh, the first drop down will show the country list right so i will create country list underscore drop down this underscore drop down is a keyword which is recognized this suffix is a keyword which is recognized by this create form task activity so it will un automatically understand that you are looking to create a drop down okay so this is the keyword it's a recognized keyword so now i'll keep the direction in and this is a list right so i'm going to select system.collection.generic list which is a string type and here i'm going to mention the variable which is holding it just now we had created a variable right country list where we have entered india us so the same thing i'm pointing it out okay after you do this remember the one that you are passing it out this anything before the drop down this country list is becomes the field key so if you know what is a field key in a form design so this becomes a field key so we have to maintain the same format i will say country list without any kind of a spelling mistake okay and i will say in out direction and this will be string so once you select a country from the drop down let's say india or us you have selected that will pass out and that will get stored in another variable so let me create another variable and say selected country done so we are done with the country now the next thing we will do the similar activity for the state so the variable that we have created is state list underscore drop down right the similar format we are doing all the spelling and everything you should be careful and then this particular one is a dictionary type so i am selecting the dictionary type dictionary first value is a string second value is a list and for this we already have created a variable state list okay the very first thing we did is created this two variables so i am adding the state list variable okay now again i'll go with state list and i will say in out and i'm going to say this is going to be a string so once somebody selects a state let's say karnataka or let's say from us texas once he selects that value will go back to the state list and we can capture that through a variable i'll create a variable and say selected state okay now you must be having a question rakesh why are you why are you creating the same name so this name country list country list country list so underscore drop down is a keyword right but i am maintaining other names very similar reason being the one that we are passing the state list this becomes the field key to maintain that field key i am writing the other one called the same names same field key if you put a different name then you will not see your drop down is working properly you will find trouble so that's why i am maintaining the same format okay select state so this is the two new variables i have created now okay now how do you link this particular state with the country so for that all you need to do is simply write state list underscore you write parent okay so who will be the parent for the state list so the parent for the state list it will again remain string 
here for the country this is the field key right country list so i'm entering in double quote i am simply saying country list so first of all what you do try this out how i am writing the same way you need to try this out this example exact this example you try it out you will understand and i am going to show you the field key and why this field key is important and why i have to maintain all this in the same format is very very important so how i am linking this drop down with the country drop down is through this keyword called underscore parent so that way it understand wherever the list the field key is country list it should link so it will automatically link and our values in the state list right we have created india and then we have written states and in the country list we have india and us same way in the state list we have india the keyword is india and us we have kept and then we have given the state names okay in a dictionary format so that way it get automatically linked and i'm going to click on okay so all these errors are there don't worry about it click on okay so once you click on okay go to the variable panel and check this okay everything looks perfectly fine now let's go down and at this moment let's open the form designer so what would happen because of the suffixes that we have maintained underscore drop down underscore parent because of that and we are using list because of that what happened it has automatically created a format for us right where it, it shows the country list and the second one shows the state list the middle one which is state list underscore parent there's a linking between both of them that will happen automatically if you maintain the format in the form data while creating the arguments so now look at this country list if you click on this particular settings if you go to the field key look at this the field key is country list that's why i am maintaining this country list okay similar if you go to state list click on the field key state list okay so these are the field keys i was talking about let's go back uh, one second let's save it and then close it so if you go back to the form data this is very very important i mean this is where you should spend time to understand okay so look at this so country list so country list has become a field key right that field key i'm getting it out and showing it to or passing it to selected country variable so that whatever the user selects that will pass through this similar way for the state list drop down whatever the user this is the entry point where all the data will get fed into this drop down and once he selects through the field key it will pass it out okay and to link between both of them i am simply writing underscore parent this is the suffix and is a recognized keyword okay so that way it will link both of them and then here i am passing the country list so country list is nothing but the field key so with the field key it is going to link both of that so what are the value in the first one does that value matches with this one then it should show the relevant values for the second drop down so that is the understanding you should have so once you have this understanding so once the form is created let's create a task object control plus k and i'm going to create a task object okay and how to get those values back to the uh, workflow i'm going to show it in few seconds but first of all let's run this and try to see if our form is created the way we want okay so let it run okay you can see 949 um, the task has been created let's go back to the action center and click on it okay so now you can see things are created let's assign to a user and then go to the pending tab and now here you are, you are going to see the country list for example if i'm selecting india in the second drop down it should show me the relevant states of india if i'm selecting us so this is how we are setting up the conditional or dependent drop downs okay if i'm selecting us then it is showing texas and florida do you see so this will be very very useful you can imagine how many varieties of situation you might get where you would like to use this technique right so everything is working perfectly fine now what i want let's say somebody has selected some of the value how do you get it back to your workflow right to get those values for the workflow you have already created two different 
variables right selected country selected state so this is the variable which is going to help you to get those values back so before we get those value we'll use something called wait for form task and resume and then i'm going to use the task object variable both the places and here i'm going to use the create a task action variable okay done so once you do it let's use a message box and let's simply print the selected country and then let's print the selected state so we'll verify if our data is selected state okay if our data is coming back to the workflow or not so let's run it now and see okay give it a quick second for it to start okay create form task task is created now it is wait for form task okay it is waiting so it, our workflow has gone into suspended mode let's go to unassigned tab select this assign it to user i'll assign to myself i'll go to the pending tab and now if you look at the country list has appeared let's say i'm selecting india and let's say i'm selecting karnataka and it on submit and it on complete so what should happen if i resume my workflow in the studio you will see both the values would flow back to our studio and it should show in the message box so you can see message box it has shown india the second one it has shown karnataka so this example must be very very helpful for your projects or in case you have been asked a question during an interview if you know how it is being done i am pretty sure you will be able to answer it in a pretty good way thank you so much guys for connecting with expo hub channel please do share and subscribe to our channel and do let us know what are your comments after watching this video thank you take care bye bye